Aquarius, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you a reading, my love. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts, pick a note. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch, okay? I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments, all right? Love you too. Aquarius, if you found the message or the message found you, it's because there's something in here for you, love, or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. No gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms, he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer, pay it no mind. Feel the energy. Remember, roles can always be reversed. Aquarius, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, and donations. Thank you. Let's talk about your energy. Um, coming into your energy, it was kind of weird. And for me, it was kind of linked with like an Aries energy, maybe the ram, maybe the fire, the passion. But the visual I had was a wolf. And I'm not sure what that means to you or what that means spiritually. I ain't gonna lie. But uh, because of that, I pulled the animal spirit oracle for you for your message. Uh, your energy feels kind of like two parts. It feels like on the outside, very soft. And I, I think that's how I'm talking. Like I feel very soft and soft spoken and calm and gentle, you know, but the inside is like, Ugh. that's how the, your energy feels to me. Okay. Like you're just ready or like, or, or yeah, you're, you're something's in there cooking. I mean, you're cooking something. It's like a, I don't know, but it's ready. I'm gonna tell you that. So I don't know if you're trying to like hold your composure or you're preparing for a battle or a change or uh, you're going after something. You you know what I mean? Um, Aquarius energy, please. Aquarius energy. I mean, it feels like on the outside, you're like, hi, you know, hello. But on the inside is, man, they, they just don't know. Oh, I can't wait. Like that, that's how this feels, you know? Aquarius energy, please. Definitely a wilderness here. There's definitely a wilderness. I tell you that. The flamingo, embrace the in between. You're you're transforming or something. The hawk is here, so divine guidance is here. But the hawk can be vicious, you know, and attack. Yeah, the hawk can be vicious. It doesn't. It's not as I guess. You know, I saw a hawk once and I honestly didn't know until my neighbor told me that they were uh, attackers. You know, I didn't know because it looks like a pretty bird to me. But um, yeah, those claws are real. You know, they, they, they have the ability to get whatever they going after or at least attempt it. Um, but with the flamingo here, at centering the energy, it's it's a it, it in between stage. So you're either embodying, like I said, this passion, this force, this control, this it emperor, you know, that emperor energy, that uh militant C O O energy, C F O, C C O O O O O, whatever, boss energy, you know. <laughs> Lovely though, I tell you that. Um, yeah, you're, it, you, you know, it's kind of like you're preparing with the wasp coming behind this walk, you know, the sting of the wasp is, is hurtful. It's vicious, you know, um, but life goes on, but you're preparing for the sting. So maybe it's kind of like, um, hope for the best, prepare for the worst kind of thing. You know, sandpiper is there. Yeah. Everything will be fine. The wasp might sting, but the, and there's your transformation. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so Aquarius, it seems like you got everything under control. Reading over. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. I love you. I'm playing. Let's do your spread. <laughs> ah. 
<laughs> what you say? Don't play with that wolf. Don't play with that hawk. I'm sorry, baby. I love you. I love you. I just want to make sure you're still laughing. Make sure uh, you're still smiling. You're still enjoying life. Even though, uh, in spite of, you know, things like that, we still have to stop and smile and laugh and enjoy. Aquarius energy. Please and thank you. Hello. Mm. Ah, yeah, you already know. Like I said, I, I feel like I'm just, this is maybe confirmation of what you've already been feeling, it, you know, but you're ready. You're, you're anticipating conflict and you're ready for it. See, you know, high priestess at the bottom of the deck, your intuition, your guides, your angels, ancestors, holy and divine loved ones on the other side. They said, Aquarius, I need you to wear your boots today. Put your hair in a ponytail. Uh, what is it? Vaseline on your face, whatever the case is, you know, uh, granted, you know, I'm being uh, animated, but, uh, you, uh, it's kind of like, you know what? Something must be coming. I'm telling you, Leo, uh, Libra, uh, uh, who else was preparing Scorpio? Um, something really must be coming. I think it's uh, calamity is some kind of calamity is coming by way of uh, energetically and it's affecting people in different ways. But I think that the in tune are, are picking up on it. You know, I think that uh, we're preparing for it. I think that we're ready or being uh, advised or cautioned or warned, you know, whatever you want to say. But, you know, OK, you're the the the, the knowing, you knows because you're ready. Crown the energy for Aquarius. Crown the energy. Knight of Swords. Yeah, you're getting the message, the communication. You know, somebody already told you. Somebody told you in the 3D or your angels and ancestors told you in the 5D. Okay, hope for the best, prepare for the worst, period. The tower is, look, hello? It's coming. Man, I'm telling you guys, I don't know what's going on. But I just, you know, I pray for all of us, all of us, for mercy, for uh, uh, guidance, uh, protection, you know. I pray for all of us to, to keep us near the cross because the storm is not in question at this point. And the storm is coming. It's already in the plan. It's a part of the plan and it's required for the plan. So there's going to be those that are get caught up and swept up. And you're trying not to be one of them. And I, you know what? Shamalama, mother loving ding dong. Okay. What's working against Aquarius right now? Clarity. Okay. Pray. You want the truth? All right. You want the truth. The first place you could, the best place to get it from is the most high. If you want the truth, the best place to get it from is the most high. Okay. Because, mm, God darn, that, that, yeah. I, I stand by what I said, but let me say this. Be careful what you ask, guys. Wow, yeah, please. Um, be careful what you ask. You know, be careful you really want to know. Because, ugh, what, how can I say that? The answer... I want you to kind of like take a moment and foresee scenarios of the answer. Do it like that. In your private prayers and meditation, if the answer is yes, then what? If the answer is no, then what? If the answer is I don't know, then what? Think of that. Try to play that out in your head uh, before you ask. You, who, if this is a person, you understand? Because if clarity works against you or the truth works against you, that means that you might not either be ready for the answer or maybe even, how can I say that? You might not even understand the answer or, oh man. Be careful, babies. Be careful what you ask for. Okay, 
seven of wands at the bottom of the deck. Be careful what you're fighting for. Make sure you, there's a, how can I say that? You see the seven of wands, he's fighting like these wands at the bottom. You see that? And he's doing it because he feels like he's defending himself. He feels like he's protecting himself. But there's a cliff here. They're not actually on his level. If he turned around and actually walked away, they couldn't reach him. Remember that. Past energy, what brought this on for Aquarius? The King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So this is definitely um, probably a love issue. I got to say it. Um, matters of the heart, you know, something that you're emotionally uh, definitely tied to. And it might be your partner, you know, somebody you maybe you, you saw them as a king and in actuality, they're a page. If it, like maybe they, how can I say that? Hmm. somebody changed their mind, changed their heart, changed their feelings changed, you know, and you might have, you, you might have trouble with that. What do you mean? You know, we've been kicking it for, I don't know, five months, you know, we've been doing this, we've been doing that, you know, and now all of a sudden it's like, I changed my mind or whatever, whatever it is. It's an emotional, um, it's significantly emotion, significant emotions that brought this chain of events about, okay? So be mindful of that because if you're operating in emotions, then you're not thinking clearly, which is why that Ace of Swords works against you. I'm just saying, I love you, all right? We talking. Future energy for Aquarius, where's this? Four of Swords, so might need some time off, take some time out, rest, reflect, because it's going to be hard. There's a separation here, and it's um, it's a rough ending. Yeah, it hurts. It's a rough ending, okay? But you need it to know. You need it to know. I feel like you're finding out something or learning something of, even about yourself, you know, that you need it to know. And, and it's a Shyamalama Ding Dong, baby. It's a Shyamalama Ding Dong for sure. That's the truth. But look at the freedom it brings you. It allows you now to have healthier uh, connections, you know, with this Two of Cups. That's how this feels to me. When you're learning whatever this is, emotional uh, situation is, it's kind of giving you a, a, a new way to connect, I guess you could say that, a healthier way uh, to connect. You're gaining wisdom, knowledge, enlightenment with this hermit, Virgo energy, Leo energy here, strength, will, drive, determination, ambition. It doesn't break you, baby. If anything, it makes you stronger. And you get a divine gift for going and for making it through with this Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Car, house, job, promotion. Yeah. Final judgment. Yeah. See, you had to go through this. This process, this process is, yeah, it's part of your, it was part of your, of the plan. All right. But if you follow through, you will be blessed. All right. And then we'll close this chapter and then you can now protect yourself better with this nine of wands and enjoy the new start that God has given you. Look at the beauty coming in, full energy, lover's energy, divine path opening up and uh, new love connections being made. One that is in alignment with you, not just any kind of love connection. One that actually is in alignment, okay? Oh, with a temperance angel, nice. Some of you are just really stepping into your power, into self-love, you know? Uh, lovely divine guidance and healing coming in with this uh, temperance angel. Others of you, it, it is a connection. I got to say that. Mm -hmm. Every, it's, some of you, you kind of had an idea that this was the one. And God is showing you and forcing you to accept kind of that it isn't. I have to say that. The so You can't deny what's in front of your face. You can't deny what's on the table. And it frustrates you that it's kind of like, like, like a dream has been stolen. That's how this feels. I'm not going to lie. 
But once this processes, you'll be able to rest and have new dreams, you know, that are healthier and, and, and more in alignment with who you are and where you're trying to be in life. Okay. So you'll learn to put these burdens down, my love. All right. And it'll be by way of divine guidance, self-love and healing. Okay. But I have to say, it's going to burn your beans, baby. It's going to burn your beans. Because I'm not going to deny the energy we started talking about, which I said, what was it? Uh, wolf? Yeah, it's something in you. I ain't going to lie. You, you, so be mindful of that. Don't, don't, you know, try not to flip the table. <laughs> All right. Try to handle it as best you can. You're a sword. You're an air energy. So try to handle it from the throne. All right. Handle it from the throne. Okay. I hope this helps. Now, if in the event you say green eyes, I don't even know what you're talking about. This is not my life. It doesn't resonate. I'm okay with that. Please check your moon rising. Don't take the energy with you. Leave it here for another Aquarius. Everybody, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you're notified of future readings. It's absolutely free and it supports the channel. Guys, remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.